Okay, this is the Reluctor wheel in question from a Chevy LS engine. You know, a lot of them over a period of many years. Anyway, this facing me is out. This is what would be facing you if you were back behind the engine. Or if the crank was on a setup hanging down. Remember, the crank has to be out to do this. So this, this Reluctor wheel is inside the engine. Okay, so the crank has to be took out and then it's stood up in, a lot of times through a hole in the table. And then this, this is orientated like this. Okay, the, from side to side these two are like this. And the crank hole is here. It's up here. And then this, the locator, is uh, at the 4 o'clock position. So this is a small one. This is the big one that's in the crank. So this is what to remember when looking at the CAD file. Okay, and what this device does, okay, this has to be put on the crank exactly right. It presses on and heat shrinks on uh, the end of the crankshaft flange with this hole. Okay, so it has to be put on exactly right in relation to the hole in the crank and this locator hole it has to be right on or the engine won't run or it'll run poorly if it's gotten close you can't do it visually okay there's no locator for this like a keyway and so this tool has this this pin here fits in this hole okay but this one here goes into the crank so remember this is up and down when you're looking at the CAD file this strap is up and down and this is the crank hole you see I don't have a crank flange okay so you get this in a position that goes into there and this one also fits into the crank the crank hole okay now when it's in position some people just beat this down with a hammer. Well, you're not supposed to do that. It damages this. You're supposed to heat this. Put it on there hot from an oven, or you put this into position. And then the puller that I'll be making has a half-inch threaded rod that comes up through this hole. And so you put the nut on, and, you know, this goes on over the... The puller is, is bolted onto the crankshaft, okay? And so when you put this on, okay, that threaded rod is sticking up. It's bolted on and it's stick, the threaded rod is sticking up. And so this goes on over the threaded rod and goes into position. And you put the nut on and go finger tight with it. And then you start to tighten it down. You heat this up. Heat it up with a torch like you're supposed to do. And then just tighten down. This just drops right down. It drops right down into place. Also, this presses it down onto the flange like it's supposed to be. Remember, if this runs out more than two thousandths, this has to be replaced and redone. You have to take it back out, and you have to, you have to redo it. This has got to be perfect. So, if you look at the videos, people are just pounding with hammers. They're they're not doing it right. They're not supposed to do it like that. And so, this is the installation tool, and you'll see in the CAD the the pull down. You can't see it now because I don't have a crank. <laughs> okay, now there's the reluctor wheel. It's it's in position. So now I'm going to turn on the other layers showing the clamp and the the tool, the installation tool. Okay, now here's the face of the crank. Okay, there's the face of the crank with the reluctor in position. See the hole up here? That's the 716th location hole. And here's the small hole that's in the reluctor. This one here is in the reluctor. This one here is in the crank. That hole up there. That's what that tool indexes off of. That's what it works off of is this hole here and this hole here. Okay, now here's here's the clamp. The clamp goes on first. It just goes on finger tight with the screws, the 11 millimeter screws. You put it on there first. 
It's just on there loose. It's clearance. Okay. And now here's the uh, the side strap and the main tube. See this? See this locator? That locates it there. This is welded to this. Now I'm going to turn on the top strap. The top strap is what has the locator for the crank. See? So there's the there's the two locators. See there? Now down inside is that clamp, that pull down clamp. And this threaded rod sticks up, you just put a nut on it and it pulls this all of this down. It pulls this down and it forces the uh, the reluctor plate in, into position. It's not supposed to be pounded into position at all like they're doing on YouTube. That's, that's not right. That's not how, how it's supposed to work. Even this, there's seven thousandths interference so even this device could pull it down and force it down. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to pound it on. You're not supposed to force it down or press it on. What this device does when it's in position, like you see it, everything is in position, but there's a nut here, a half inch 13 nut sitting on top. Okay, now it's in position. It's ready to go, and you heat this up with torches, and it drops right down. It expands and it drops down, but of course you tighten down a little bit with the nut, but you don't force it down. But this will drop right down. Now if you take this out of the oven and place it on there, you have time to place it on there and then put this device into place, including the, remember the clamp, the pull down clamp is already sitting there on the cold crank. It's sitting there in position. So you have plenty of time to set, you set that on to the crank sitting loosely and you put this device into place, or you could put uh, the reluctor onto this device and then put it, lift it down and put it into place. You have plenty of time to put on that nut and, and pull it down. Now it's probably going to drop on. It's going to drop on loose. But suppose you didn't get it hot enough or it's a little bit cooled off a little bit. Well, sure, the nut will pull it right down with hardly any force. Yeah. But see that this clamp here pulls it down. It sh they should not be being pounded into position. It damages this. This, this reluctor ring, uh, that reluctor ring there, could not have more than two thousandths run out. Well, that's nothing. Now, the other thing, the instructions in the device, they have people, they say, take a drift punch come around here and pound this down around the outside. Well, you pound down here, now this tilts up. You pound down here, now this side tilts up. That's flat wrong. This should be pulled down using the, the insulation tool and the pull down clamp. Plain and simple. That's it. I'll include some pictures.